Hey, what's up guys? This is Dog Lunar Hound, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the PP2000. Uh, the PP2000 is unlocked at level 4, and is the closest thing to a pocket submachine gun. Pocket meaning it's a secondary, and really it is a submachine gun. Um, its damage is from four, is 40 at 0 to 500 inches, or 0 to 200 inches silence, to 20, beyond 800 inches or beyond 600 inches silence. Its rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute. Its capacity is 20. Reload times, mid clip is 1.9 seconds. Empty is 2.77 seconds. And cancel is 1.25 seconds. <coughs> Switch times to the PP2000 is 1.8 seconds. And from is 0.45 seconds. Uh, useful perks for use with the PP2000. Uh, for blue perks, I picked Scavenger Pro and Sleight of Hand Pro. Scavenger because um, it's a secondary, so there's not very much ammo, and with a with the 20 round clip, you will be reloading very often. So Scavenger Pro can help you one pick up more ammo and two start off with more ammo. Um, and Sleight of Hand Pro. Uh, even though the reload times are quick, without if you don't have scavenger, sleight of hand is the next thing to go because to go with because you need that quick reload because you're gonna be reloading a lot with 20 shots per clip. For red perks, I picked stopping power and lightweight. I picked stopping power because it decreases the number of bullets needed to kill by one in most situations, and this is most. This is part of those most situations. And I also picked Lightweight Pro because you, um, you need, to, sometimes you need to get up in their faces. If, if need be, you can get up in their faces and Pro will allow you to sight up faster after sprinting. So that will help you greatly when you are need, when you need to engage close quarters. And for Yellow Perks, I picked Ninja Pro and Steady Aim. Uh, Ninja Pro because one you stay off the heartbeat sensors and two silent footsteps that's just me because I get paranoid when I play the game and um, steady aim because um, really none of the other yellow perks really help you that much um, last stand you can't wield it in last stand um, I guess maybe if you wanted to use sit rep but I just don't go near sit rep because staying off the heartbeat sensors is a priority for me and um, so steady aim, I guess, uh, you know, just uh, tightens up those crosshairs for spraying. Uh, useful attachments for the PP2000. Um, I picked extended mags. Uh, the PP2000 has a small 20 round magazine and extended mags can increases this to 30, making it a much more eff effective as a submachine gun. Um, I also picked the silencer. I don't recommend this as much as the extended mags because it seems to make the gun quite weak, but uh, staying off the radar is good too. And I also picked the Kimbo because it is a good alternative to extended mags, but the gun can no longer be used at long ranges, which I think is one of its very strong points. In comparison to the Glock 18, uh, the Glock 18 has lower damage, shorter range, has a higher rate of fire, a longer reload time, and a larger capacity. And since there's no other guns required around it, I've decided to compare it to the MP5K. The MP5K has the same damage. That's why I call the PV2000 a pocket SMG. Uh, the MP5K has a longer range, a higher rate of fire, a longer reload time, and a larger capacity. And now on to the new section of the review not really new but kind of recycled but improved um the overall section um so we're going to weigh the pros and cons of the gun pro of the pb2000 uh, it has low recoil it has very clear iron sights so no sight um attachments are needed it does good damage for a secondary and it has a fast reload time um the cons of the pb2000 it has a low capacity without the extended mags it has a slow draw time and it has a uh, short range you don't you lose damage pretty quickly and another new part of these the entire review is uh, 
it's kind of uh, changed a little bit. Last time I had Lunar Hounds picks, and now I have Lunar's dog tags. Get it? Eh? Eh? Um, if you paid attention in the video, you'd notice a few uh, military dog tags floating around. Um, and those were next to all the things that uh, I preferred uh, in the attachments and uh, perks section. So I prefer to use um, Extend Mags as my attachment with the PV2000, and I prefer to use per the perks Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power, and Ninja Pro. And now for the real overall. Um, I give this gun a hefty 8.5 out of 10. Pretty dang good for a secondary um it's a great substitute for a submachine gun it's um it's best if it's drawn before engagement it can be used as a primary but if you do use scavenger um so yeah um it's not you know you know complete 10 out of 10 beast gun but it is very good so yeah that wraps up this review for today um so um Guys, as always, comment on um, new uh, suggestions for guns. Um, I would like to thank, um, I think his, uh, I'm really sorry if I forget, uh, Victory at Gunpoint, I think, uh, has been suggesting lots of reviews to me, so I would like to thank him a lot. Um, I would also, uh, uh, if you guys um, liked it, you know, press the button. If you disliked it, press the button. Um, and if you would like to know when all of my reviews are coming out, uh, just press the subscribe button because sometimes things come up in my life and I can't meet, you know, the required, the, um, you know, scheduled dates that I have, you know, laid out for myself and sometimes I, they come out a day late so that way you can know exactly when they're coming out every time. No need to worry about it. So that, that button right above the video. Um, yeah guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys another time.